Hello, this is Gene Therapy by Tiffany Kanoa. Well, the first thing is, what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is a topic that will be discussed by multiple people from multiple countries around the world. Gene therapy is the process of inserting genetically altered or normal genes into the cells of a human to replace parts of a gene that may have defects. This will stop the need of having to insert drugs into our bodies that may or may not help us if we have a disorder. There are three main methods that may be used to replace one's genes with a genetically altered type of material. The first method contains retroviruses. Retroviruses are the type of viruses that have the ability to independently transfer genetic information that is their own as well as change the gene of humans. The viruses do not have the ability to copy themselves. Therefore, the genetically altered genes cannot be passed down to a human's descendants. Although, in a human being's body, there are DNA parts from a cell that have the ability to copy themselves onto other in the genome of the cells. The second method shoots new genes from a pressurized gun into one's body with helium. The gun fires tiny gold bullets that contain genetically altered genes on the outer coat into your body. This method was experimented on mice that had tumors. Since a tumor is shown on your skin, the scientist shot the gun directly onto the skin that surrounded the tumors. The successful cells that received the genes code for cytokinesis was changed up activated immune systems in the mice's body. By doing this, the scientists at Northwestern University by Wen Sun hopes that this will affect the mice's immune system and make the skin tumor decrease. After weeks of experimenting, they discovered that the mice showed a substantial decrease in the size of the tumors if they shot the mice about four times a day. This also resulted in the treated mice living longer as compared to the mice that were not shot with the helium gun. The third and final method has a solution of involving liposomes, which are hollow, big molecules found in your body. A woman by the name of Natasha Kaplan that works at Brimpton Hospital is currently researching the possibility of curing cystic fibrosis using liposomes. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that is caused by buildup in your respiratory system, resulting in trouble breathing. A patient would inhale liposomes that are covered in genetically altering genes that would help stop the chloride ion from building up. The benefit of this method is that it is not nearly as harmful as the side effects of retroviruses. If you have a disease such as cancer or Alzheimer's, this therapeutic gene transplant could help stop life-threatening diseases for those in need. For example, 11 out of 16 mice were treated at the University of California. All had cancer. The 11 mice that experienced the genetically altered material to alter the cancer cell lived, while the other five that did not receive the treatment died. Although, taking it a step further, an argument that is still ongoing is the idea of altering a child to play sports, etc., is still at risk. Many say, like Kessa Hayes on an article based on gene therapy, that the world already does things to enhance themselves such as steroids and cosmetics and plastic surgery. Therefore, it would not make much of a difference to those who would like to alter a gene to make the football team. There have been many different elements of con arguments such as scientific sides, religious sides, as well as ethic sides to this therapy. Today we're going to focus on the ethics. The NDSU website talks about the cons of gene therapy for beauty and states that the desired gene may not end up in the correct place in the DNA. This last medical problem could activate ochno genes or inactive cancer suppressor genes that could cause cancer or could cause other problems. This means that if the gene is not put in the correct place, you could get cancer very easily just because you wanted to alter your face. Also, the gene therapy treatment is extremely expensive, so only those that are rich and wealthy could have it, making the rich richer and the poor poorer. Personally, I think it's a good idea to do gene therapy. This could save thousands of people's lives, but at the same time, enhance others' lives too. People already try to alter themselves, and if they know what the risk of what they want to do to their body, why should anyone stop them? Yes, people will not approve of this, but there will always be haters in anything you do. Imagine all of the patients that finally know that there is a way to cure the impossible. Although, the cost should go down, and the money raised for cancer after all these years can help support the ones that can't afford the treatment.